Oh, that sounds like a Lego set. This is definitely a squishy. This one sounds like it's purring. Hey, it's too early. We have to wait for Grandpa before we open anything. Ugh. What took you guys so long? What are you talking about? It's only 6.30. Grandpa doesn't come till 8. Ah, oh, you're killing us. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Mom. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, it looks like Grandpa's here a bit early. Yay. 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 Hi, Dad. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Grandpa. Grandpa. Oh, I drink it. We're so excited to see you. I can't imagine why. I seem to be the most popular person here on Christmas morning. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. I can't wait to open presents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you guys know our family tradition. Jesus is, Jesus the, is the reason for, for the season. season. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, you guys don't sound too excited to hear the Christmas story again, but that's okay. Uh, the first person to hear about Jesus weren't too excited either. What do you mean, Grandpa? Well, let me read it to you from Matthew. When King Herod heard that Jesus, the king, was born, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. Scripture prophesied that this baby Jesus was born king of the Jews. Herod tried to stop that from happening by trying to find and kill baby Jesus. No way. That's messed up. At least Jesus' mom and dad were there. Well, that's true. But at first, they were a little nervous about baby Jesus, too. Do you remember how they found out about Jesus coming to earth? An angel went to Jesus' mom, Mary. You're right. And what did the angel say to Mary? That she was going to have a baby. Right again. How do you think Mary felt about seeing an angel? She was scared, and the angel told her to calm down. Yeah, well, kind of. One thing I learned from Grandma even an angel should never tell a woman to calm down. <laughs> what he really told her was not to be afraid, um, that she had found favor with God, that she was going to have a son, and she was going to call him Jesus. But she wasn't even married. You're right. And that's part of why she was so hesitant. She was nervous about this. She had a fiancé who she had promised to marry, his name was Joseph. And Joseph was not happy about baby Jesus at <laughs> first. Yeah, he was definitely confused. When Mary told Joseph that she was expecting a baby, he first thought of, that he shouldn't marry her anymore. But an angel spoke to him and told him not to be afraid to take Mary as his wife. In fact, the angel said it was through the Holy Spirit that the child had been conceived in her and that she was to bear a son and name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. So a lot of people were scared and didn't know if they wanted Jesus? Well, sometimes we forget how important Jesus is. We don't really see our need for him. It's very natural for all of us. Kind of like us earlier with the gifts. Uh, bingo. Uh, well, that seems like enough. Let's get to our gifts now, the reason why we're all here, right? Wait, Grandpa, I actually like it when you tell us a story. Why not finish it, like the whole story? Okay, okay, but here's the deal. I want you to imagine the whole thing with music and people, sights and sounds, everything. I want you guys to close your eyes and jump into the story. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and 
everyone went to their own towns to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary who was pledged to be married to him um, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to a firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you a good news that can send a great joy for all, all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. It will be a sign to you. You will find a babe, baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God 
and saying, well, who knows what he said? Glory, Glory to, to God, the highest and, the highest and on earth and peace and, peace and, and towards men. To had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem to see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Matthew speaks of wise men. It says they went their way and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was.
So the shepherds hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about the child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for the things they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told. That's the story of the first Christmas. I always think I can't wait till the story is over so I can open presents, but I love that you tell us that story every year. Here's the thing. You can't overlook Jesus. You can't overlook Jesus, but he's still everything. You all know that, not just for me, but for everyone who believes. Jesus came to earth to live with us, to live a perfect life for us, so that on the cross he took our sins upon himself and conquered death, rising on the third day. Slow down, Grandpa. That's Easter. Today's Christmas. Good point. Someday, it will be your turn to tell this story. And if you believe it, Christ will become everything to you, and he will be your story. Jesus, Jesus is really amazing, Grandpa. Thanks for reminding us what he did for us. Now it's time to open your gifts. I 